Now we're going to talk about converting units and specifically we'll be converting units of speed because we're studying speed as we talk about motion right now but the techniques for converting units here will apply to any unit conversions not just to speed. We know that length can be measured in various units. We're f we'll f we are familiar with these such as inches or feet or miles or in the the metric system we might use meters or kilometers and each of these have a standard abbreviation which I'm using here and time can be measured in various units such as seconds or minutes or hours or days and we could go on obviously weeks months years centuries and so on well speed can be measured in various units such as miles per hour or meters per second and if you look at these you notice that miles is a unit for length and hours is a unit for time and if you look over here at meters per second meters is a unit for length and seconds is a unit for time when you have a measurement of speed the unit of measurement is always some unit of length divided by some unit of time and it turns out that any unit of length divided by any unit of time will give us a unit for speed so miles per hour that we talked about that's one and different units are more are, are appropriate or used commonly in different situations like miles per hour you obviously associate associate with the speed of a car because speed limits on roads all over the country are in miles per hour in Europe they typically measure automobile speeds in kilometers per hour you might have uh, feet per second the measurement of a, the speed of a bullet coming out of the barrel of a gun is commonly done in feet per second or in the metric system you might use meters per second the speed of a rocket going to the moon might be in miles per second the rockets the Apollo rockets that went to the moon they traveled at about five miles per second but any unit of length divided by a unit of time gives us a unit for speed even these strange units like a furlong per fortnight where a furlong is an eighth of a mile commonly used for measuring horse races and a fortnight is an old kind of outdated term but a fortnight means two weeks so this is a unit for distance and that's a unit for time and any unit of length or distance divided by any unit of time will always give you a unit for speed now it's helpful to be able to convert from one to another if you have a speed that's given in miles per hour you might want to convert that to kilometers per hour or into feet per second or meters per second you might need to convert from one unit to another just like we might say six inches is half of a foot we're converting from inches to feet here we're going to convert speeds from miles per hour to meters per second or from one unit to another and that's the the topic next how to convert units